So I'm here with one of my favorite pieces of gear. It's the Roland SP606 sampling drum machine. I'm very fond of sampling drum machines as opposed to something you might use on a laptop. Because you get a tactile feel, you can uh, you know get your hands dirty and take out some frustration and aggression um, as well. And when you beat on keyboard keys, I notice sometimes you tend to break them, especially if you're using your friend's laptop. I've brought it out into the club before and back to artists, um, different rappers, singers, or whatever. We can load up all the percussion tracks in large audio chunks on each pad, so I don't have to worry about a laptop crashing. And I don't like to bring computers into. Club. I don't know what it is. Uh, this beer, it's just like generally like a lot of club partying and dancing and smeg everywhere. Some of the things people like about old classic gear is the um, the sample rates are low. It's sort of like Atari compared to a Nintendo Wii. This one has one. I, I don't use it too often. It's kind of gnarly. They call it the Lo-Fi processor. Lo-Fi processing. So um, I'm gonna throw one on this track right now. Now it's saying it's six bit. Let's see, go up to four bit. Ugh. Sounds like digital hardcore. And ease it back a little bit. Go back on the filter. Stuff like that. As you can hear, it's a pretty radical effect. So it's good to use maybe for a variation. But uh, unless you sniff glue every morning, you probably don't want to hear that sort of grunged up sound all throughout the whole track. Only the drums are going through the crazy effect. So, boom. If everyone in your family is ugly, that's a bad thing. But, uh, you know, if your family is uh, relatively attractive and you're the ugly one, you know, it's not going to stand out as much. Sort of like these drums in this mix. Don't trust anybody. This is one tip. Everybody should know this already. I'm going to tell you if you don't already know. Just watch your stuff. You like to run out and take pictures and have some beers with your friends. Especially with all this new drum machine gear, people will rip your ass off. Everybody wants to come up and touch it and stuff like that. People are coming up to it with, with tecates in their hands. Yeah, like that. Hey, get away from that. Drum machines and gear are like exercise bikes or stair masters that people buy. A lot of times people get them and they don't use them. Chances are if you're into DJing and making beats, you know somebody who has a beat machine and just doesn't use it. Next time you're over there crib playing video games, just whip out a couple hundreds and just uh, ask the person if they want to sell it to you right there. It's a great way to get a deal. Hello? Pizza delivery? I'll be right down. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.